What up guys, it's RJ with Road to Liberty. I want to do a video today about debates and why debates are a waste of time. I feel like it's kind of obvious, but then again, if I don't have a video about something that I think is obvious, that means I didn't explain something to people that may not find it obvious. So why are debates pointless and a waste of time? I don't mean debates like me and you debating. I mean the political election debates. Here's why. Very simple. All the media companies are owned by about five or six different groups, different companies, Viacom, uh, Ted Turner on CNN. There's a few different, you know, main players, um, Fox conglomerate that own, you know, News Corp that own everything. So, um, these networks wouldn't benefit from one of their candidates, whether it was a Hillary or a Jeb. You know, it, these networks wouldn't benefit from the idea of one of their candidates getting exposed in a debate. So, it's in their interest. And if you watch carefully, the questions are heavily biased in so far as you know the candidates that they want you to like they ask easy questions to and the candidates that they don't want you to like they they really go after and you're talking about a debate where there's a moderator if it's supposed to be an unbiased medium where everyone has a fair shot at, at explaining their views you don't want the the moderator in this case the networks to be making it harder for one candidate than easier for another so once you see that taking place if the person getting the softball question doesn't say, hey, it's not fair that you're giving me softball questions and you're making my opponent answer harder questions. You know, you, you see them like the, certain candidates not. I mean, you know, you can say, OK, well, Hillary got asked about Benghazi. Right. But how fast did Bernie Sanders chime right in and say, oh, I think America's sick of he got her side. If they were against each other in a debate or in a, in a real campaign, why would he? That would be an advantage for his campaign to let her get you know get caught up in the in the scandals more. Why would he want to change the narrative? You could see that there's a group effort on the stage, whether it's the Democrats or the, or the Republicans, to the Democrats or Republicans. There's a group effort there to kind of not make make the main people like the Jeb or the Hillary look too bad. Um, so with Trump being on the scene, or whether it was Ron Paul a few years ago, or whether it was Ross Perot in the '90s. They have to be very careful as to how they phrase things and how they make this person or that person look and trap them into things. Um, so generally speaking, I just say don't watch the debates. Don't vote either. But if you're going to vote, do your own independent research and you're picking a candidate because, okay, I think this candidate is going to do something for me somehow. I don't agree with that because I think the whole idea of forcing people with power to do things for you is ill-guided in the first place. But if that's what you're after, don't base it on these debates. Because all the questions in there are about topics that are inconsequential. They're distractions. They want to talk about the war or talk about the fiscal budget or talk about entitlement reform or talk about, um, you know, when they talk about taxes, tax reform, whether it's a flat tax or simple tax, you're moving the deck chairs around the Titanic. The taxes that come in don't even cover the interest on our debt every year. Um, no one's addressing the real issues um, because no one wants to talk about that stuff, including the citizens, including the leaders. So... That's what this channel is about. That's why I'm getting good feedback from you guys because I search all over YouTube for people who can say something that isn't on TV or can criticize someone on TV because they don't criticize each other. They don't criticize the leaders. The media is completely in the pocket of the powerful people in the world. So we have to take back the media. We have to be the media. So hopefully you guys keep commenting and giving me feedback and uh, you start your own channels and do your own videos and I'll feedback on your side too because we have to create the dialogue. We can't let the dialogue be created anymore for us. Peace out, guys. Stop watching debates. Later.